All right, so it's day five, and we are filling the first pond. We just lined it. Uh, I've been a little nervous about how we were going to do this, and so I'm going to explain a little bit about what we've learned so far. Um, the roll that we're using is a 10 mil, 20 foot by 100 foot sheet of black polyethylene. Um, and so we laid that out flat in the workshop. Um, we're using this polyethylene because it's significantly cheaper than EPDM, uh, which is typical pond liner. But it doesn't have the same give the poly uh, EPDM has, or EPDM. Yeah, so uh, the test here is kind of seeing if we can use this cheaper plastic and still have it hold water and, you know, because that will drop our cost down a lot. Um, and so we laid it out in the workshop. We didn't have enough to, if this um, were a little shallower or a little narrower, we would be able to use a sheet of 20 by 20 plastic, bend it over itself, and do the double wall in one fold by treating it as one 10 foot rectangle. But as it stands, the walls plus the bottom plus the top is something like 13 feet. Um, so it was yeah. too much. Um, so we just folded it over about 11 and a half feet. Um, and so the double wall comes up to about halfway here, um, which could be potentially problematic. We don't know. That's one of the experiments. That is what we could do with the material that we had, given the design that we have and the time that we have. Um, so we folded the 11 and a half inch underneath. We taped it so we could treat it as one full rectangle. And then we folded it up. We brought it up here from the workshop. We had a team of people lay it out taut. We had two lightweight people with socks lower themselves in and push their way along with their feet to make the box shape. And when we got to the edge, I'll show you here. You want to make this uh, nice corner fold like you're wrapping a present. Um, the first time we did it on this side, we folded it in. Uh, which is not what you want to do, because then water can fall in and uh, fill that up, and then it's just not the way you want to do it. So you make a really tight corner, you want to take that edge, and it's going to be a little unwieldy. You want to pull it in on itself, like this. So you can see, you get an idea of how the fold is working out here. It goes in like that, comes back. If you look down, it makes this perfectly tight rectangular fold that we can then bend down like that. So right now, we're just letting the water, so we have the water push down and fill it up and give us a little counter pressure, pin the bottom for us. And once that's done, which I think it almost, it's almost there, we don't want it to be overfilled, um, we'll use that counterweight in the bottom to tighten the corners, tighten the folds. And there's folks down in the workshop making the second one right now. So we're kind of doing this, so if we learn anything in this process, we'll know better for the next time around. So everything seems to be going okay at this point, and uh, we're going to put some fish in it.